roads, the temperatures do feel a little more like spring. The melting snow from that major snowstorm is causing flood concerns along area waterways. You can see from this National Weather Service map we're about to show you, it's keeping track of flood warnings. In Ocano, the Ocano River is under a flood warning. Other areas near flood stage include the East River near Greenleaf, the Kiwani River in Kiwani, Duck Creek and Howard, and the Peshtigo River near Porterfield. Another flood warning is in place along the Wolf River in Shyocton. Aisha Morales is there and joins us live with the message officials have for boaters there. Aisha. Hey, Sarah, I got to tell you, this sunshine feels wonderful, but of course, it's been causing those flooding concerns. We're near Highway 54 and Mill Street off of a boating dock. We've been showing you this area because it's got some minor, minor flood concerns. Point of reference are those trees behind me. You can see the tree trunks are underwater, and officials say although the flooding concerns are minor, they still need boaters to slow down. The National Weather Service has this area of the Wolf River in Shyocton under a flood warning because it's expected to rise a foot above flood stage by Tuesday. The flood warning along the Wolf River, though, is affecting Atagami, Shano, and Wapaka counties. Anytime the water gets um, high at a what we determine like a critical level, um, close to flood stage, we put a slow no wake on the Wolf River, and it goes from the city of New London um, municipal border all the way down to the Winnebago County line. So through our entire county on the Wolf River, it's a slow no wake. Boaters are being asked to keep their speed down, keeping it at idle speed, at least 500 feet away from any buildings to avoid any property damage. There's a lot of cabins and stuff that are all that set low, and the, when the water gets high, the water gets right up to their edge. And when boats go go by and make a wake, it splashes up on their property. You know? The Wapaka County Sheriff Water Patrol will be out enforcing the slow no wake zone. A lot of it's education for the first few days. If somebody's, you know, that we know had issues before, they'll probably be issued citations. Um, after a few days of education, then we, then we normally issue citations. That ticket could cost you over $200. Meanwhile, officials also want to remind boaters to have life jackets as the water levels rise. With the, the water the way it is, with the water temperature and the current, especially with the water coming up, falling in is, is not a good thing, obviously, and if you're not wearing your life jacket, it's not going to help you unless it's on you. I got to tell you, these boots came in handy for sure today, and officials say that flood warning as well as the emergency out of New London, that will go away after the water recedes and this area is no longer a threat. Live in Chi-Octon, Aisha Morales, Action 2 News.